everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to do some cooking which is why we're in the kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make ice cream bread. <laughs> um, so yeah this is quite a new recipe I believe. It's been like all over Facebook and everywhere I'm like ah oh, ice cream bread. It looks like ice cream. It looks like cake. They call it ice cream bread so I'm going to call it that. But it looks like cake, and I'm sure it tastes like cake, but you know. So I'm going to show you how to make that today. So the actual recipe is a Funfetti ice cream cake. I'm not going to make that because I'm not overly keen on Funfetti cake. I'm going to make a chocolate chip one. So, the ingredients you're going to need are... Ice cream. And you're going to need it... Oh, that's cold. You're going to need it melted. Um, Mine has not been out of the freezer very long, but it's okay, you can go ahead and uh, melt it in your microwave, it's fine. And you're going to want two cups or a pint, whichever you work in, in that. And um, mine is just Sainsbury's Basics Vanilla Ice Cream, and you want vanilla, by the way, <laughs> but say that, vanilla ice cream. And I don't know if it works with other flavours, I'm not sure. You can try if you want, but if you want to play it safe, <laughs> vanilla ice cream. Also, the low-fat ones and like dairy-free do not work as well, so don't use them. So sorry if you can't eat dairy. So, ice cream. You're also going to need self-raising flour, and you need one and a quarter cups of that. And I use Home Pride. I love this brand so much. And I love it, the fact it comes in a little tub and you can just keep refilling your tub. See if I can get it open. See? It's just so much easier because I'm fine with the bags, they always split, you get flour everywhere and it annoys you. And like this you can put it on its side. It's cool. See? So, one and a quarter cups of self-raising flour. And you're also going to need half a cup of chocolate chips. Now if you want to make a funfetti cake, the original recipe was a quarter of a cup of chocolate chips and a quarter of a cup of sprinkles but I've made it to a half a cup because we're not putting the sprinkles in so um, I don't know how much this bag will do but if it doesn't I'll just use this bag which is uh, 100 grams and these also Sainsbury's ones and it doesn't matter like what chocolate chips whether they're white, dark, milk whatever brand they are, it doesn't matter if they're like chunks or anything really. You can even get like chocolate and shred it up into chunks if you want, but if you do, don't put it in a food processor because it'll be too fine. Or you could get chocolate buttons, cut them up a bit, or keep them myself. Well. so yeah. And you're also going to, it's preferably, it'd be easier, you're going to want a KitchenAid, just zoom in on that. You see that there? This little guy. KitchenAid, or you could use a handheld whisk, or you could try and do it by yourself. I think that's too much effort. <laughs> so I'm going to use my KitchenAid today. You can use other brands of stand mixer as well, that's fine. And I'm going to be using the paddle attachment, is that what it's called? Yeah. Um. And then finally you're going to need something to bake it in. I'm going to use a bread tin because this is what it normally goes in. If you don't have that you could use like a brownie tray. Or you can even try it as little cupcakes if you want. It's totally up to you. But I'm going to be doing it like bread in a bread tin. And you're going to either want to line your bread tin, which I'm going to do with liners. Or you can just spray it with oil like or release spray, whatever you want. So it comes out. But make sure you do like do something or you can line it with baking paper put a sheet that way then a sheet that way it's totally up to you whatever you want so without further ado let's get started okay so i'm going to start off by lining my bread tin <laughs> i want to call it a cake tin so here it is and i'm just going to take a liner and as you can see these are like very thin like cake cases but they're just dry version I'm just going to take that and pop it in there and it sits fits nicely like that. Okay, so next I'm going to use my cute little set of measuring cups. 
and you can see there's a quarter of a cup. Now if you don't have um, cups for measurements, a quarter of a cup is 60 millilitres and a third of a cup is 80 millilitres, half a cup is 125 millilitres and one cup is 250 millilitres. Okay, so I'm going to want to measure out one and a quarter cups of flour. But before I do that, I'm going to measure out my half a cup of chocolate chips. And I'm going to put it in one of my little bowls. So here are my chocolate chips. Okay, so that's nearly the whole packet, as you can kind of see. Um, so I've got that. And then we're going to go ahead and measure out our one and a quarter cups of self-raising flour. So here's my self-raising flour. And I've got my one whole cup and my quarter cup. nice big shovel one okay, so that's one cup and now a quarter of a cup And now I'll pop these all in this, oh gosh, <laughs> little bowl here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and measure out my ice cream because that's going to be a little hard to do on camera. But you're going to want two cups of ice cream. So I'll be back when I've measured that out. Okay, so <clears throat> as you can see, I've weighed out all my ingredients and the ice cream fills about a normal size dessert bowl. And this is the sort of consistency you want. It has got lumps in it, but that doesn't matter. You just want it so it's sort of more liquidy than more solid pieces in it. And so the next step is going to be to add your ice cream to your mixer and give it a bit of a whisk to start off with. And then we'll go on to the next step. So I'm just going to move you over here so you can see the bowl. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you can see a bit better now. And I'm going to just turn my mixer on and attach this. And now I'm going to add my ice cream. I'm going to use my scraper just to get any sort of leftovers out. And now I'm just going to give it a quick whisk around. It'd be a good job if I actually attach my bowl in. I'm going to go again. Okay, so you accidentally forgot before you put your ice cream in, quick step, put your oven on to preheat it and you're going to want to preheat it to 175 degrees centigrade. So. There we go. So, sorry that is going to be in the background now, that noise, but you'll still be able to hear me. So now we'll move back over here. There we go. And now we're just going to basically add our flour until it's combined. So just going to quickly lift that up and put it all in there. You can put it in stages but it doesn't really matter. 
and just whip it around. Put it on a low speed to start off with so flour doesn't fly everywhere and then move it up higher. This smells so good. So that's what you want it to look like. It looks like a cake batter at the moment. Okay, so now we're just going to add our um, chocolate chips and any additional things you wish to add. I'm just going to lift it up so I can pour them in the middle. As you can see, it's a nice thick mixture. And I'm just going to give that a quick spin around to mix them all over the place. Okay, so now it's it's really easy to make this. It's unbelievable, really. So I'm just going to get my scraper ready and move my bowls out the way. Yeah, I've got ice cream on my hand. And basically, what you're going to want to do now is just add your ice cream batter cake mix thing, whatever it's called, to your tray. So I'm just going to scrape down this. Over here, oh gosh, she tripped over the camera stand. Right, there we go. So we're going to put this in this. Don't know how this is going to go pouring it. Ugh. Sorry if my hands are in the way. It's really hard to pour. I'm just going to sort of. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get a spoon. There we go. So, just grab a chunk, whack it in there, grab another chunk. I'm very clumsy in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm just trying to get as much of the mixture in here as I can because I don't want to waste any and it makes it easier to tidy up as well right there we go so now I'm just going to kind of spread it around a bit because as you can see it's sort of just sat in the middle Kind of, oh, hard to spread around. You don't need to be too fussy with it, just so it's kind of covering all the corners because it's quite a thick mixture, it just sort of sits in one place, which we don't really want. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so now we're going to take it and put it into our oven and bake it for 35 to 40 minutes. And it really depends on your oven and how fast it quick cooks. So I'm going to put mine on for hmm, 37 because my oven cooks reasonably quick but not super quick. So I'm just going to pop it in and set the timer. Pop it in on the top shelf. Sorry, you can't really see that, but I just set my timer right there. And I'll wait for this to cook and then I'll come right back to you when it's finished and 
let's hope it turns out right. <laughs> um, so guys, I just wanted to point out I made a little mistake. Um, when setting the timer, I only set it 17 minutes, and I just realised that. So when it ended, I put more 20 more minutes on to make the whole 37 minutes, just so you don't get confused. If you've copied me and done that, then add another 20 minutes. But if you did it right, then you're all good. So, see you in a few minutes. Okay, so we've finished. And this is, well, this is what it turns out like. And it looks so good. So, yeah. Try piece. See, that actually looks like bread. Mm. that tastes so good so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up down below also I'd really appreciate if you did subscribe down there and yeah I'll see you next time bye